So you have a blog topic in mind and maybe a target keyword, but you might be asking yourself, is this the right keyword that I should be targeting for my blog page? Well, your competitors might have the answer to that question. Keep on watching to learn how you can use your competitors' keyword data to determine the best keyword that you should be targeting for your blog page. Okay, so let's just say we have a coffee website and we are thinking about writing a blog page on how to brew iced coffee. Okay, now we do have the Keywords Everywhere browser add-on installed and turned on. And according to Keywords Everywhere, the average monthly search volume is 390 per month. So that's not too bad. Now let's take a look at the organic listings. So we're going to scroll down and this first organic listing is by the Food Network and their blog title is how to make iced coffee. So that's different than how to brew iced coffee. So it looks like they are targeting how to make iced coffee here. Now let's go to the other organic listing, the standard one and Epicurious. So this is the best way to make iced coffee. Now again, that is different than brew iced coffee. So when I look at our competitors, it seems like how to make iced coffee would be the better uh, keyword phrase to target for our new blog page. But let's take this a step further and dive deeper. Okay, now with the Keywords Everywhere extension, there are two additional rows just below the page title. So what I'm going to do is hover over this second row. And what's cool is that Keywords Everywhere will show you the keywords that your competitors are ranking for. Okay, so for the Food Network, they are ranking for 263 keywords, this specific URL. So I'm going to click on the 263 and it'll open up this report right here that shows us the 263 keywords that this URL is ranking for. And we have some keyword level data for each one as well. So we can see the estimated traffic that each one of these keywords bring in for this URL. We could see their SERP position, the average monthly search volume, the average cost per click, the competition score from Google Ads. You can also see the trending uh, numbers over the past uh, 12 months and the trending percentage. Now, how to make iced coffee, which is their page title, is right here. And the estimated traffic is about 2,800 and the average monthly search volume is 14,800. Now, I want to analyze this table further. So what I'm going to do is export this as an Excel file. And this is our Excel file. So what I did was I filtered all of the keywords by the SERP position. So I only want to see the keywords that are ranking between one and three. And I also sorted those keywords by the average monthly search volume in descending order. Now we could view the top ranking keywords that have the highest average monthly search volume. So this filtered list will help us identify the best keyword for our new blog page. Okay, so the first one here, how do you make iced coffee? That one has an average monthly search volume of 22,000. Now, if we go to how to make iced coffee, which is the page's title, that one has an average monthly search volume of 14,800. So if I were to write a blog page on this topic, I would choose this one as my main target keyword because it does have the most average monthly search volume. Now you might be saying, how do you make iced coffee and how to make iced coffee? Those two phrases are very similar to one another. But when you're comparing 14,000 versus 22,000, you know, you definitely want to choose the keyword that does have significantly more average monthly search volume. And these four keywords here are notable as well. They have 18,000. So you could consider these, but I think the ideal keyword to target would be how do you make iced coffee. So that is the answer here. So after all of our research, we initially thought how to brew iced coffee, which has an average monthly search volume of 390, would be a good candidate for our blog article. Then we thought, okay, how to make iced coffee would be another great candidate because this top ranking listing is targeting that search phrase. But it turns out that no, how do you make iced coffee? This 
phrase is the best one for us to target for our new blog page. It does have the highest average monthly search volume compared to the other two phrases we were considering. All right, so go ahead and try this process out for your own SEO projects. And hopefully you thought this video was helpful. If you did, uh, let me know by hitting that like button and also subscribing to our channel. And if you wanna check out other helpful SEO videos, feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. And with that said, thank you so much and we will see you in the next one.